the Lockheed Martin X-59 Quest Quiet Supersonic Technology is an American experimental supersonic aircraft being developed at Skunk Works for NASA's Low Boom Flight Demonstrator Project. Preliminary design started in February 2016 with the X-59 to be delivered to NASA in 2021 for flight testing in 2023. It is expected to cruise at 937 mile per hour at an altitude of 55,000 feet, 16,800 meters, creating a low 75 perceived level decibel to evaluate supersonic transport acceptability. In February 2016, Lockheed Martin was awarded a preliminary design contract aiming to fly in the 2020 time frame. A 9% scale model was to be wind tunnel tested between February and April 2017. The preliminary design review was to be completed by June 2017, while NASA received three inquiries for its August 2017 request for proposals. Lockheed was the sole bidder. On April 2, 2018, NASA awarded Lockheed Martin a $247.5 million contract to design, build, and deliver in late 2020 when the low boom X plane on June 26, 2018. The U.S. Air Force informed NASA it had assigned the X-59 Quest designation to the demonstrator. By October, NASA Langley had completed three weeks of wind tunnel testing of an 8% scale model with high AOS up to 50 deg and 80, 8 deg at very low speed, up from 13 deg in previous tunnel campaign. Testing was for static stability and control dynamic forced oscillations, and laser flow visualization expanding on previous experimental and computational predictions. From November 5, 2018, NASA was to begin tests over two weeks to gather feedback. Up to eight thumps a day at different locations will be monitored by 20 noise sensors and described by 400 residents receiving a $25 per week compensation. To simulate the thump, an F-18 Hornet is diving from 50,000 feet, 15,200 meters, to briefly go supersonic for reduced shock waves over Galveston, Texas, an island, and a stronger boom over water. By then, Lockheed Martin had begun milling the first part in Palmdale, California. In May 2019, the initial major structural parts were loaded in the tooling assembly. In June, assembly was getting underway. The external vision system, XVs, was flight tested on a King Air at NASA Langley. This will be followed by a high-speed wind tunnel test to verify inlet performance predictions with a 9.5% SACAL model at NASA Glenn Research Center. The critical design review was successfully held on September 9, 13, before the IRB report to NASA's Integrated Aviation Systems Program by November. Then, 80-90% of the drawings should be released to engineering. The wing assembly was to be completed in 2020. In December 2020, construction was halfway completed, and first flight was then planned for 2022. After flight, Clearance testing at the Armstrong Flight Research Center and acoustic validation will include air-to-air -air Schleiren imaging backlit by the sun to confirm the shockwave pattern until September 2022. NASA will conduct flight tests over U.S. cities to verify the safety and performance of the X-59's quiet supersonic technologies and evaluate community responses for regulators, which could enable commercial supersonic travel over land. Community response flight tests starting in 2023-2025 will be used for ICAO's Committee on Aviation Environmental Protection Meet, establishing a sonic boom standard. The results of the community overflights will be delivered in 2027, allowing for a decision to be made to revise the rules on commercial supersonic travel over land in 2028. NASA reported the installation of the General Electric F-414 G-100 engine on the X-59, which took place at Lockheed Martin Skunk Works in Palmdale, California, early November 2020. The engine is 13 feet long and produces 22,000 pounds of thrust. The low boom X plane will be 94 feet, 29 meters long, 9.0 meters wingspan for a maximum takeoff weight of 32,700 kilograms. Propelled by a General Electric 414 engine, 
it should reach a maximum speed of 990 mile per hour. The cockpit, ejection seat, and canopy come from a Northrop T-38 and the landing gear from an F-16. With afterburner, its engine will provide 22,000 pound of thrust. This is achieved by using a long, narrow airframe and canards to keep the shock waves from coalescing. It should create a 75 perceived level decibel and as loud as closing a car door compared with 105 for the Concorde. The central engine has a top-mounted intake for low boom, but inlet flow distortion due to vortices is a concern. The flush cockpit means that the long and pointed nose cone will obstruct all forward vision. The X-59 will use an enhanced flight vision system, EVs, consisting of a forward fork camera with a 33 beach by 19 day angle of view, which will compensate for the lack of forward visibility. United Technologies subsidiary Collins Aerospace was selected to supply its pro-line fusion cockpit avionics displaying the boom on the ground and EVs with long wave infrared sensor. The Collins EVs, 3,600 multispectral imaging system beneath the nose is used for landing while the NASA external vision system in front of the cockpit is giving a forward view. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to please like and subscribe. If you have a topic you would like to suggest, leave a comment.